You must know what you own and why you own it. You must know why you own it. A lot of people think that they know why they own something. And a lot of people don't take the time to actually care. And then there are others out there in the marketplace who look for opportunity um, to uh, make money at all costs. Okay. I'm not going to get into detail on this video, but this is going to be one of the most important offerings for anybody out there who follows our small niche, our small corner on the, the social media landscape uh, for my subscriber base. Uh, who have been with me a long time. Um, we understand that the ground rules are very, very simple. This is a conduit to information. That is it. It is a conduit to information. For those of you who have followed, understand that I am very bullish on Aduro Clean Technologies and have been ever since the stock was trading at 52 cents, where we started to cover the company. We are, as we speak right now, trading in an intermediate state right now under a temporary ticker symbol, uh, ACTHD, at a post uh, pre-split uh, valuation of $1.26 per share. My friends, I have covered this name for the last two and a half years. Um, I am speaking on behalf of the Independent Investor Channel. All opinions conveyed on this channel are mine and my own. Uh, but I am speaking about a company that I am bullish on that can't currently speak for themselves. So I digress. And what we are going to do is we are going to review the why. We need to understand what we own. We need to know what we own and not just think we know what we own. Okay. Uh, if getting into a stock is very, very simple, uh, anybody can buy a stock. Any, anybody can buy a stock at the right time, um, and even more than that, can buy a stock at the wrong time. Um, many more than that can actually justify selling a stock very, very easily at either the right or wrong time. This is the million-dollar question that investors toy with more often than not is – not only understanding why we enter into a specific position, but having the conviction to understand through the research that has been done, through the research that has lent itself to the decisions that we make to enter into a specific position or not. Okay, We don't want to buy everything that comes across our plate. I've been investing in the stock market since I was 15 years old. Um, I am on track. No, not quite there, but on track as a self-made millionaire. Um, I started with nothing, zero. In my time in the stock market, it has seen uh, multiple opportunities. It has seen multiple pitfalls. It has seen multiple downtrending markets, um, the, the likes of which would probably shake out any even of the most savvy investors out there who at times find themselves on the wrong end of a trade, overexposed, inadvertently so. Okay, If the stock market provided a landscape for everybody to get involved with that same stock market and make money guaranteed across the board – there was no chance of loss. There was no chance of making an ill-advised move. There was no chance whatsoever of misapplying uh, the opportunity that existed in a specific equity or a specific broader investment out there. Then there wouldn't be a financial market. Now, with the onboarding of such pipeline information made possible in no short order by social media, it allows for the conveyance of information faster. It does not mean that the information that is conveyed is 100% perfect. It just means that the multitude and the volume of information uh, regarding this particular topic can be conveyed almost real time as it happens, as it unfolds. 
and we can convey that information. Whereas when I started, you know, entering into and 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 understanding financial markets, it came uh, from the financial section of the Sunday News Review, a newspaper that made its way out to the country, and I had to wait for that Sunday version because not every day had that insert in the newspaper, oh, how far we have come in understanding the no, in understanding why we hold a specific equity, why we're even compelled to do due diligence on a specific equity, and, and why it is in today's era, that conviction on a company can be very, very real. On the opposite side of that, you have opposite forces that are working against you to toy and decay and degrade and erode that conviction that you may have specifically on a company like an Aduro Clean Technology. For one, my conviction was made two and a half years ago when I looked at the opportunity. Um, there was no doubt in my mind that this was going to be big. At the time we looked at the company, my friends, I want to take you back two and a half years ago and remind you guys where we were. We were in really bench scale in way of the technology. Remember the third party validation that the company independently took to show whoever out there would listen that this technology, lo and behold, worked. It worked. And it generated interest because if this technology did in fact work, even on a small scale, the technology had an opportunity to make a an impact, whether large or small, on the plastic recycling problem that we see ourselves in the midst of as we speak. Okay, When we go back and look at this company, this was around the time I was introduced to it. Um, I shortly after made a trip up there and actually saw the R2 reactor. Um, which we are now have plans looking forward to the next generation uh, of pre-commercial reactor here for AduroClean Technologies. So over the last two and a half years, we have evolved from what I would consider to be a, a starting place in time with the company. Uh, and looking at it now in 2024 as being that pivot we are in a transitional period, my friends, right now. Aduro currently is in a quiet period, and that's why this video is so important for me to convey on behalf of my own commentary what I think is going on right now, what I think it means for Aduro Clean Technologies now, but more importantly, for tomorrow. And what I want you to get out of this is an understanding of understanding crystal clear what, in fact, you own, what, in fact, you own by nature of the patent portfolio that Aduro has worked over the last 15 years to build for you as an investor to understand the opportunity in a place in time where we are looking at a company that is rubbing shoulders right now with multi-billion dollar companies. No, no. These are some of the biggest companies in the world. Total Energy on the public facing, already been released through press release, have engaged in collaboration where Total sees enough in the potential of this Aduro Clean technology to where we want to advance our understanding of that and look and see how we can augment our operations with Total Energies using Little old Aduro Clean Technology, the company that we just started covering two and a half years ago at batch level, okay? We didn't know about Game Changer program when we first started co covering the company, albeit shortly after starting to cover the company, we were graced with the announcement that Shell Oil accepted Aduro into their game changer program. And for you guys that don't understand the level of vetting that went in to just being accepted and named, when that public facing announcement went out, there was vetting that went into even the acceptance of that program. 
the understanding that what it takes to even be announced in that you're far understanding much more than most people who look at the Aduro uh, and Game Changer program with Shell Oil as being a delayed program that somehow has stalled out over time. Couldn't be further from the truth, we understand, based on the last announcement. I have my premonitions of where they are in the program, but I can only go and suggest that they're in phase four of a six-phase program. And I'm not going to speculate beyond that, because for me, my friends, when we move from a batch uh, technology, okay, a bench technology that is tested in a laboratory to third-party validation, then you have these multi-billion dollar organizations, these multi-billion dollar plastic producing entities that are seriously looking, okay? These aren't people that have looked at AduroClean Technologies and says, yeah, you've got a good thing, and they go on about their way. They are in a lot of capacities involved with Aduro Clean Technologies, the game changer being a, a, that Aduro was the nominee to um, their program, heavy scrutiny and vetting to be accepted to the game changer, I might add, and Total Energy as of late that has just released increasing their collaborative efforts with Aduro Clean Technology. There will be financing, there will be uh, uh, resources within the company and think about all of the learnings that can happen across the brow between these two companies as they collaborate and look to advance not only a Duro Clean Technologies technology, but how it can augment a total energy in their day-to-day uh, -day operations. So when I talk about validation, don't take it from me in understanding. I know what I own. Okay, and I understand why I own it. Do you? Do you truly? Do you expect that a Duro needs to come out right now when they cannot? They are in a period where the announcement to uplist the New York Stock Exchange was announced just over a month ago, and they cannot and will not speak about the goings on of that very very sensitive application process. They cannot do that. Through freedom of speech, I can, okay? The full disclaimers of my involvement with providing awareness to a grander social media audience can be found in the disclaimer below. Furthermore, my shares have been owned for the last two and a half years. I have nary a I sold any shares outside of a little bit for some tax positioning. I've been very, very crystal clear on this point. Okay, and looking at a stock pre-split basis that's now trading at a dollar and twenty-six. Here's where we are, my friends. Here's where we are in closing down a chapter over the last two and a half years, and entering into the unknown. Okay, the action in the stock over the last uh, couple of weeks it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. I have never seen a stock in a situation that a Duro Clean Technologies finds itself in currently with a temporary uh, ticker symbol, brokerages that have locked down shares to new purchases as well as selling the stock, which is hampered volume. You can see that day by day where the volume has went all the way down to anemic levels. This There's a very specific reason because a lot of people out there don't have the time to cover the day-to-day, hour-to-hour, and even down to the minute coverings of an Aduro Clean Technologies that has faded into this pocket of hiatus while we wait the uplisting application, its final acceptance, and the ultimate uplisting of Aduro Clean Technologies to the New York Stock Exchange. That is currently where we find ourselves in. What does it mean for you? Do you sell the stock in the interim? My friends, I'm going to give you as much conjecture as I possibly can here. So um, be prepared. I'm going to give you an opinion right now that is going to be strictly mine. Uh, not to be uh, misconstrued or uh, influenced by anybody else out there. 
Here's my opinion. If you are choosing to sell the stock right now for the purpose of taking profit, you you, you have lost all the work that has been gone into this product for not only the last two and a half years of public-facing markets, but coupled with the just under 15 years of developing this company and bringing it to markets in a capacity that has allowed basic investors, me and you, get over yourself. We are basic investors, an opportunity that you should have never been provided in the first place to enter into a company with this groundbreaking of technology as if you had the opportunity to participate in its IPO. My opinion, conjecture, sure, tear it apart. You have problems with that? No problem. You're entitled to your opinion, just as I am. And that's why I found it timely to actually speak out and offer one of the most heartfelt and one of the most insightful Aduro Clean Technologies videos of my catalog of an of Aduro coverage. Typically, I will come on, I will convey a, a plethora of good news because Aduro has been fraught with good news over the last two and a half years. This small company is doing some amazing things. They have a portfolio of would-be customers that has been ginned up through their customer engagement program. Dossiers on over 20 companies, it was 20 a couple of months ago, albeit probably much larger than that. We know this to be true, my friends, because if we can just look at the public information, food packaging companies, game changer program through Shell Oil, Total Energy, right? And many others that we know exist. It is safe to presume that Aduro has other interested parties, and why would they not? If the technology is as good as you say it is, Ryan, why would they not have interested patrons out there who are feeling the political pressure as well as the legal pressure in some cases, especially in Europe, who are pressed to make sure that whatever plastic is being produced, all right, there are discussions about levying penalties on those plastic producers for every ton of plastic produced. It just makes sense for a Total Energy to be interested in this project. Don't take it from me, okay? Discredit what it is that I say. Ryan, you're full of opinion. Fantastic. Aduro's involvement with Total Energy is not my opinion. This is fact, okay? And if you'd like to discredit a small YouTuber in the small corner of a social media audience that is looking to convey what I consider to be over the last 25 years, the most important, the most unique, and the most incredible opportunity in the investment world that I have ever seen in my investment career. And it doesn't have to do with uh, the goings on with Aduro is fantastic. But how they have rolled this out has done nothing but allow would-be share owners to jump on the bandwagon at any time. None of this has been gem generated through hype. It has all been generated by very, very specific fundamental milestones that Ofer Ficus has laid out over the last two and a half years. Each year, he does the same thing. And oh, by the way, he follows through with what he says he's going to do. He's on track with the 2024 goals. We were earmarking 2026 and 2027 as being kind of that rollout year of maybe licensing their technology or partnering with big industry. And here we are in 2024, my friends, staring down an inevitable uplisting of the shares to the New York Stock Exchange, and people are finding it convenient to share, sell the shares. My friends, I think that is a huge, huge mistake. It is a huge mistake. The party is just getting started. What we have accomplished over the last two and a half years lends itself to this opportunity. It bridges itself 
to the opportunity to be even eligible to speak about a company that is just over a hundred million in market cap, staring down an inevitable uplisting to the premier exchange in the world where we were unknown before. And yes, my friends, I will say it. We were unknown the last two and a half years. There's only so much yelling. There's only so much screaming. There's only so many videos that I can put through YouTube to convey to a social media audience that in most cases is really not interested in hearing about the next best thing. Because how many times do you hear that on social media? We've got the next best thing. Let's get rich overnight. Here's the opportunity of a lifetime. Here's this, here's that, yada, yada, yada. People get tired. They get fatigued in social media, hearing about all things success. How do I lose weight? How do I get in shape? How do I do this? How do I think better? How do I find a spouse? How do I become financially wealthy? It's taxing when we find out that the only thing that you can really do in any of those aspects is look in the mirror. It, look in the mirror. And when it comes down to stock market investing, I come back to Peter Lynch's quote, know what you own and why you own it. Don't allow a five or a six week session in the stock where Aduro cannot speak about a pending application. They can't and won't. Okay. Six weeks, my friends, it is a fragment in time. It is a sensitive conduit and bridge to a, 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 the next era in a Duro clean technology. I, I am specifically announcing the closing down of an era over the last two and a half years that we have known, we have loved, we have looked at, we have evaluated, and we have come up with consensus on. My friends, those that era is over, okay? We are in the transition phase of stepping into a new era with the company. We have gone from no awareness to ultimate awareness, okay? We have gone to the unknown, to the known. We have gone from being unavailable on a less than adequate exchange to now being open to anyone who is presented with the information can make an informed decision about entering into this company without the restrictions of a less than adequate exchange, my friends. You don't think that that's going to open up the floodgates to opportunity. You don't believe that there is people waiting to grab a hold of a technology that supports a 95% efficiency rate on the back end of feedstock, hard to recycle feedstock that's put to rigor by the hydrochemolytic technology that Aduro sports. You don't think that there's people waiting You've got more of an imagination than me if you think that this isn't going to blow the floodgates open when this second it opens up. For the minutes and the digressions of the intermediate period from now until then, um, I'm not going to speculate. I know what's going on um, and where I suggested that where there is uh, a perceived target. Um, Adura is just trying to do good in the world, right? But, um, you know. Uh, greed has no uh, depths of 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 ethical application. Where there's money or perceived opportunity, um, sharks will go after that money, irrespective. They don't care about the company. They don't care about what they're trying to do. All they care about is driving down a company for their own benefit. Um, I'm not sure really what... Uh, that activity lends itself to financial markets. I never projected that financial markets were perfect. But my friends, you have to look at this for what it is. It is a time in, in history where we are having an opportunity. It's a $1.26 right now pre-split. You have an opportunity to get this thing six cents removed of what I looked at as a top at a $1.20 in January of last year, January of last year, Aduro Clean Technologies hit $1.20 for the first time, U.S. 
my friends, we are a year and a half removed of that date. And here we are trading at $1.26 with what we know. Ask yourself, has the story improved or degraded over time? Do we know more or do we know less? And more importantly, do you know what you own and why you own it? Very important timing, my friends, to deliberate around these questions. We will be there for the long haul reporting out on the progress of Aduro Clean Technology. This will be the only offering that I offering through the F1 processing to uplist to the New York Stock Exchange until then. We will see you on the flip side, my friends, but I thought it prudent to come out and discuss the low volumes, discuss what I feel like is going on right now. I owe it to you. I am a bullish share owner in this too, and I feel like there's a lot of people misapplying their holding right now in what I feel like is one of the greatest opportunities made possible to retail investors, unlike opportunities of past. Aduro has made that opportunity available to you at every step of the way, and if you choose not to engage in this opportunity, then it's because you've chosen to look in the mirror and and tell yourself that it's not for you. But for you guys that are like me and look at this and look at this transition that we're going through, I think you'll find that we'll land in a very, very similar uh, conviction arena when we evaluate an Aduro Clean Technologies and the opportunity going forward in this next phase of the company. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in for the video. Subscribe to the channel. You stay updated on this project. It's ever evolving. Um, it is uh, very dynamic and it can change on a dime. So you're going to want to subscribe and get up to speed. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video. It will help people in the confusion. It will help people in understanding, what should I do? What should I do, Ryan? That conversation actually does help people in weathering storms in a speculative arena that I don't think a lot of people need to be dabbling in, but one that we have conveyed and found what we feel is a diamond in the rough with an application pending to uplist. It is going to be a very, very interesting story to report on, and I'll be right there in the pocket reporting on it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of this video, and good luck in your investment future. <music>